Imagine a scenario where the arid, rocky landscape of the moon is dotted with vibrant, flourishing gardens. This may sound like something out of a science fiction novel, yet it represents a very real challenge and aspiration for scientists and engineers today. The question we explore is, what does it truly take to cultivate life on such a celestial body, and why is it so challenging? To begin with, let's consider the moon's environment. Unlike Earth, the moon lacks an atmosphere. This absence renders it barren of protection from harmful solar radiation and cosmic rays. Plants would find themselves bombarded with high-energy particles capable of damaging their delicate cellular structures. This reality alone necessitates sophisticated life support systems capable of providing a protective sanctuary for plants. Moreover, temperature extremes between lunar day and night pose significant threats. While earthbound plants bask in relatively stable conditions, the moon's surface experiences searing heat of up to 127 degrees Celsius and a chilling plunge to minus 173 degrees Celsius. These volatile temperatures can lead to dehydration or freezing, fatal for plant life without specialized technological interventions. Now, water. A precious and essential resource, yet conspicuously absent in the moon's regolith, its soil. It might hold ice at its poles, but accessing it is a significant challenge. Transporting water from Earth is neither economical nor practical, directing the focus on conservation strategies and innovative recycling systems for water already on moon-based habitats. The soil itself, or lunar regolith, presents another daunting challenge. Unlike Earth's nutrient-rich, humus-filled soil teeming with microorganisms, lunar regolith is sharp, glassy, and lacks essential nutrients required for plant growth. Its sharp edges not only hinder root systems, but can also quickly wear down equipment and pose health hazards if inhaled or ingested by humans. To overcome this, scientists need to develop ingenious ways to amend this regolith, introducing necessary nutrients through biological or chemical means to make it akin to Earth's fertile grounds. Let us not overlook gravity, or rather, the moon's reduced gravitational pull, which is only about 16% of Earth's. This altered gravitational environment could greatly impact plant growth and development. On Earth, plants rely on gravity for their sense of directionality. Roots navigate downward and leaves upward. How plants adapt to such weak gravitational forces remains a critical area of study, with researchers employing potential solutions like artificial environments to simulate favorable conditions. Furthermore, photosynthesis, the cornerstone process for plant survival, requires ample light. The moon presents a paradox, with half of the time bathed in sunlight and the other half in darkness sweeping its surface. Leveraging artificial lighting or strategically timing, germination and harvest cycles might provide viable pathways, yet each comes with its own complexities and resource demands. Interestingly, the radiant sunlight experienced on the lunar surface offers both opportunities and setbacks. Unlike Earth, there is very little obstruction from atmospheric particles, leading to potent, uninterrupted sunlight. However, this can potentially scorch and dehydrate plants without careful moderation, indicating a need for finely tuned control over light exposure. Add to this the psychological and social aspects linked with lunar agriculture. Growing plants on the moon is not just a technical endeavor, but resonates profoundly with social and psychological dimensions of human space exploration. Fresh greens could play a crucial role in sustaining astronauts physically and mentally, offering nourishment and a touch of familiarity far from home. As you can see, the dream of lush lunar gardens involves navigating a complex tapestry of interlinked challenges. From radiation shielding and temperature regulation to honing water sourcing and soil enrichment, each step is fraught with both difficulty and opportunity for groundbreaking innovation. 
In conclusion, growing plants on the moon presents an extraordinary array of challenges, but holds immense potential for expanding human presence beyond Earth. By overcoming these hurdles, we not only make strides in agricultural technology, but also pave the way for sustainable space colonies, transforming science fiction into reality. As we look up at the moon, we are reminded of the obstacles that lie ahead, but also the boundless possibilities that await.